Hey there, Internet. So today is a super busy day. I've got a shoot later today, but I wanted to take a brief moment to tell you my top five things about Magic Leap that I think you should know. The number one thing is Magic Leap has an app where you can see UFOs abducting dinosaurs. As, as shown in my friend Swan's video, which the CEO of Magic Leap even said is his favorite Magic Leap review video. Um, so I'm gonna link to it below, check it out. And what's really cool about this app is that each person has different experiences with it. For instance, when I tried it, I dragged a knight in there with the dinosaur and the dinosaur took out the knight. So that's, that's really awesome, I think. Um, I'm tired of these AR apps on the phone where it's just the same looped sort of animation So it's neat to be able to put two things together and see it work The second thing that I think you should know about the Magic Leap is that it is developer friendly They're looking for lots of different apps lots of different people to develop for it So if you're interested you can sign up they send lots of different updates they have uh, tutorials online that make it easier so that being said brings us to number three which is that there's no social aspect with Magic Leap yet. That's gonna be available in the fall with a software update. I'm a little skeptical of that, but I do think it's still pretty cool that you're gonna be able to have two Magic Leaps together, looking at the same thing and moving holograms around. It really brings me back to a moment when I was filming for Meta's uh, Meta 2, and Will I Am is looking at holograms and moving them around, and I was filming him with a camera, a black magic camera, seeing real time the holograms and that way I could frame my shots. Um, when I was doing this with Swan where I was like, hey, there's a jellyfish in front of you, it didn't really work quite as well. So what I'm hoping is that when you have two magic leaps together, you can see the same holograms. And I'm currently trying to put together a meetup to see if this is possible. But I believe currently uh, that it's not and it will be available in the fall. So something important to know. Um, number four, is that they have a really cool app with Sigurosa's music where basically everything around you is using your hands. That was huge for me, being able to put down that controller and actually use my hand gestures. This technology has sort of been around for a little bit with um, Leap Motion. That's also uh, hand tracking that you can connect in with your Oculus or your HTC. But for once, it was not an add-on. It was actually built in the headset. Use your hands, move things around. And for me, that Sigaros experience is one of the coolest. It was the closest thing to an acid or a DMT trip uh, that I've seen in headsets. So definitely check that out if you get a chance. And then the number five thing to know about Magic Leap is currently only available in six cities. So if you have to live in one of those cities, you're lucky enough to be able to try it out and definitely get that opportunity and do it. Um, I really was blown away by the headset. It's my favorite AR headset that I've tried. So two thumbs up on that. Um, really, really impressed. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, share it with other people. Um, I'm also gonna be shooting a lot more videos with this guy, uh, the K1 by Zcam, it shoots in 3D, 180. Today, I decided to do a standard video instead of a 360 video because I have a shoot later today with this guy. By the way, if anyone ever needs to rent out one of these, I know someone, so let me know. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow.